Hi, this is Melissa from Lieberman Research. This is going to be a demonstration on how to use the iPad for your upcoming Ruby Tuesday project. Um, first thing you have to do is, once the screen is on, there will be a slide to unlock. So you take your finger, swipe it, and your home screen will appear. Okay, um, so once you see your, your home screen, you want to look for the settings icon, which looks like this. All you have to do is tap it. Okay, and in the upper left, we want to turn on the Wi-Fi. So you just find Wi-Fi, tap it if it's not tapped already, and then over in the right, you want to turn it on. It sh should currently be off. So once you tap it, all of the local networks will appear. So what you have to do is you have to find your network and all you have to do is tap it and if there's a password associated with it if you tap in the password box your keyboard will appear and you just type in your your password okay and then on the keyboard there's a join so you tap that and the iPad should automatically join to that network and if it does, you'll see a check mark next to the name. Okay. Um, so to get out of this screen, you have to tap the home button, which will take you back to that opening screen. Um, now what we want to do is we want to test to make sure that your Wi-Fi is on and working. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for the Safari icon, which is the internet browser. Tap that. Okay, um, and whatever screen comes up, I don't know what the home screen will be, but what you want to do is you want to click in this upper bar and just type in like Yahoo, hit go, and if your internet is working, you'll see the Yahoo screen appear. Okay, so then that tells us that we're online. Okay. All right, so if you hit the home screen again, that'll take you back to your main screen. Now there should be a bookmark for the, the survey that you're working on, set up by the corporate, um, Ruby Tuesday corporate. Um, I don't know what it will be called, but um, you just need to find it. And if it's not on the front screen, all you have to do is take your finger and swipe to, to view the other screens. Um, so once you locate the bookmark, all you have to do is tap on that bookmark and your survey will begin. Now depending on the survey you're working on and, and what qualifies the respondent, there might be a few opening questions that will be asked of you know, the interviewer to fill out before handing the device to the respondent. In this case, we are asking for a location choice, so um, you would, you know, click on that and then the drop down appears and you just choose your location. Um, and then there's another qualifying question. So all you have to do is tap on the appropriate answer and then go to the top and you'll see next. Tap that and the next screen will appear. Just a few more examples of, of how the survey looks. Again you just tap and then tap next and you'll move on. Okay, so let's say that a, a customer doesn't want to finish the survey and hands you back a survey that is still in the middle. Um, to exit out of the browser, to be able to start a new survey, what you want to do is you'll see there's two boxes and an icon at the top. You want to tap that and then hit the X to close that browser. Okay. So once we're done with that, all you'd have to do is go back to your home, home button, find your survey icon again, tap that, and a new survey will begin. Okay, so it is important that whenever the, the um, customer finishes the actual survey, the final screen of the survey will look like this. Okay, there'll be a finished button instead of a next button. That finish button should be touched in order to finalize the survey. So if the respondent hands it back to you without tapping that, please make sure you hit finished and what will happen is Ruby Tuesday's homepage will appear.
Okay. So once that, into, so now that the, that survey is final, what you're going to want to do is close out this browser again. So again, you're going to tap this double squared icon and then just close out the browser and go back to your home button and again tap on the survey icon and your sur a new survey will begin. Okay, so, so once you're, you're finished with your shift, what you're going to want to do to save battery life is go back to settings and then you want to turn your Wi-Fi off. So all you have to do is tap on on and it'll automatically turn it off and then you're all set. Okay, another important thing that you should remember after the shift, once you turn Wi-Fi off, you're going to want to make sure that you darken out your screen and then use the charger here. You place it at the bottom, just pop it in, plug it into the wall, and then charge it overnight. This way that you know the, the device will be fully charged and ready to go for the next day of interviewing. Okay, thank you. Good luck.